Hey friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to another episode of Beer with Brewpreneur here in my kitchen again. Excited to bring you guys another video. I have an awesome beer for you guys today. I say awesome because I've had a little taste of it. I actually was able to try this one at the QC Brew Fest several weeks ago in Charlotte, North Carolina. But this is the RP1 from Town Brewing Company. This is their Hazy IPA coming in at 6.3% ABV. Uh, special thanks to my friend, Rhett, who provided this one to me. But RP1 is uh, basically what a scientist calls rocket fuel. And that's a perfect name for this double dry hopped hazy IPA. And uh, really looking forward to trying this one and uh, sharing it with you guys. But um, I was telling my, my cameraman here a few moments ago when I popped that thing open, I could already get the amazing aromas. Look at that, beautiful beer. Uh, just a nice, um, nice hazy golden color. I'd even say going more, even almost more towards the yellowish straw type color. Uh, nice haze in there. I like to use the word uh, translucent to go scientific on you. You can see a little bit of light through there, but you really can't see through it. A little bit of light coming through. Nice white head on the beer, about an inch and a half there. Nice and frothy. Uh, crowler of this, so it's kept really, really well. And uh, already, as I move the, move the glass there, I got some amazing aromas. But I believe this one has um, cashmere, um, and now my mind just totally went blank. I had them in my head a few seconds ago, and then when I go to, to recall it, um, I can't even remember it. I owe you that one. Uh, but a, a great variety of hops here, um, doing some amazing things, especially with the aroma, which I'm gonna test out right now. Oh, wow. Nice uh, mango, nice citrus. I'd even say a little bit of citrus rind on the nose. Um, really fresh too. I, I you really can't smell fresh, but you've associated things in your life with something that's fresh, fresh fruit. Um, you know, really that's kind of what I go to as I'm getting these fruity aromas and then smelling off freshness. But yeah, it just smells like a nice, uh, even a little pineapple-y in a way. But yeah, I can't wait to try this one. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Cheers to Town Brewing. Wow. RP1 is an absolute winner. Uh, for a double dry hopped hazy IPA, the first thing that I noticed is the smoothness. Uh, me and my friends like to joke about that. It's the most common used descriptor on untapped, but a very smooth and silky type uh, brew here. Um, definitely from some of the ingredients that they use, really softening this beer, uh, possibly some oats, uh, maybe even some wheat in that, uh, but very, very soft, especially on the back side of the palate. I'm not getting a ton of maltiness here. For these types of beers, double dry hopped, hazy IPAs, the hops are really on display. Malt really serves as the backbone or the platform for the beer, and then the hops are supposed to be on display here. Again, a variety used. I owe you that one in the description of this video, no doubt. Um, but I'm getting a nice bitterness, kind of mid-taste and then post-taste, kind of lingering on the palate. But, uh, and also, a nice sweetness too, I would say. Um, getting some pineapple notes, uh, maybe even hints of mango there. Hints of citrus even. And uh, I always talk about citrus rind too. It's a little bit bitter, a um, little bit um, uh, kind of a almost tangy type taste in a way if you've ever bitten a, a lemon peel or an orange peel. But um, again, I keep coming back to that smoothness just a really soft, soft beer on the palate. Nothing too sharp, nothing too in your face. You're getting those amazing hop flavors, um, the, the fruity sweet type flavors, uh, the pleasant bitterness, and it's all really rounded out really well. Really kind of dances on the palate. But this one, this one's incredible. Absolutely love this beer. Uh, I might have to drink the whole crowler of it. Sorry, Ernest. No, I'm kidding, I'm, I'm definitely gonna share some. But uh, cheers to Town Brewing, doing amazing things in Charlotte. Had the chance to stop in there the other day, enjoy a flight and some other beers they have. Got some great food as well. Really good location, kind of on the western type side of Charlotte, uh, kind of west side from uptown. But a uh, good spot, good outdoor, uh, outdoor venue as well. And uh, doing amazing things. I love to see these newer type breweries really making a name for themselves, really um, really setting the stone, uh, setting the stone, setting the tone and setting the standard um, for great beer here in Charlotte. Cheers to town. Again, thanks to my buddy, Rhett. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have an amazing day. Cheers.